Hi there and welcome back to Fallout 3. I'm Baron and we're about to visit Moria again. Because we found the mine. Oh. And I'm not talking about the gold mine. Guess who's back? Get out of the way, old man. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm, I got through minefield alive and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Mm. Fast hands and faster wits can get you an awful lot, including landmines. That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use that in the book. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author instead of just a researcher. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Okay, um, and we get a schematics for the bottle cap mine. Uh, that completes the first ch uh, chapter's tasks, right? Correct, and it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Mm, I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. Ooh. Did we level? The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Hmm. I'm going to hate myself for this, but what do you mean about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? <laughs> Hmm, I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Yeah, great. Um, what do you have? Sure thing. Oh, she doesn't have any more money. A few energy cells. Fine. Okay, let's buy something for our house then. I want my first infirmary. That's rather expensive. Doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just going to sell my pistol. The excess assault rifle. You don't have any bobby pins, do you? No. Chinese pistol. Dandy boy apples.
Or maybe I should use the roving trader outfit before trying to sell her things. Maybe this will increase my barter thingy. See? So, um, first things first. She wants us to get injured. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just take off all your uh, armor because you don't want um, to damage your armor. And then sit on a grenade. It's really simple. Ow. And we are crippled. Wait. Okay. That was weird. I thought I died here. Didn't mean to. Okay. Oh, get some. Oh wait, real roving trade outfit. That's what I wanted to use now. Okay. Yeah, I don't look too good. Well, how do you feel? Um, this really hurts, you know. <coughs> oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Mm, pain is an abstract. I stay focused on definable things like survival. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh, how can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Okay, I'm ready for more research on the second chapter. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Uh, let's start with the mole rats then. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Okay. I'll test out a repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties. But for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Okay, so... Sure thing. I wanted to buy something. Um, something really expensive. Like my first infirmary. And I offer you this nice pistol. Not enough? Too bad.
So that gives us science plus 5, block pick and repair plus 5. Environment suit gives us med plus 5 and red resistance plus 30. Okay, I accept. There goes all my money. Good hunting! Bye bye. Take care. It's a big wasteland, but you know that better than me, right? I know. So. Um, what are we still carrying? Could use that. Lots of purified water. Do I have any scrap metal? Apparently not. So, let's see. No. Lucas Sims' house is to the north. Yep. Somewhere around here. Water processing plant. I don't want to go there. Thank you. What do we have here though? Oh, I can't jump. White man can jump? Apparently not. What the fuss? What's that? Look at Sims house. Um, what do you have here? A hunting rifle. And a teddy bear. Ooh, whiskey. Ooh, what's that? Bobblehead strength. You found a Voltec limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, it's essential to give your arguments impact. Your strength has been permanently increased by one. Very useful, I say. Anything else worth taking? I guess not. Boom. So we leave again. And the joke? A neutron walks into a bar. How much for a drink here, anyway? To which the bartender responds, uh, for you, no charge. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Can you explain me how my first infirmary works? An innovation from MedTech. The My First Infirmary will automatically diagnose and treat any injury you might sustain. It will also make any of the pesky rads you've accumulated in the wasteland vanish instantly. Very useful. And goodbye. You have yourself a fine day, sir. And we have a few more bubble heads. And we could put a few things away. For instance, you. You, you. Oh, I think I could repair the, the sniper rifles. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, okay. So here is the first infirmary. And you can heal yourself, restore damaged limbs and remove all rats. Very useful. Now I don't have to use right away that often anymore. And of course... Um, we have to go to tap sewers, but here's something else I want to explore first. So let's go to, I don't know, world 101. And from here we head into this direction, if we can. Come on, what's up? Oh wait. Monsters? Probably up here. Shall we take a look? Dead already? I'm sorry. He has a combat shotgun. Nice haircut. Jerk. There are more. The combat shotgun is nice, but the range was too long. Why didn't I hit you? Well, now I did hit you. Oh no! I guess I have to pick you up down. There. Shit. More raiders. He has a fucking sniper rifle. Let's close the distance quickly. And a fucking hand grenade. Fine. That didn't work. You gotta be kidding me. What? Knife kill. Stay here. Okay. Where is that guy with the sniper rifle? So we also have the uh, pain 
bike armor. That looks really like I came directly from an SM party. And we have the sadist armor. Which also looks like I I like the crutch protection here. Also looks like I came directly from an SM party, so mm. Badlands armor it still is, I guess. Oh wait. Let's see. What else do we get here? Anything hidden? Don't think so. Oh, damn it. Oh, right, there are more raiders. What, do you have a flamethrower? Yes. I would say that's overkill. What's that? Nothing. So that's a way to cross the river apparently. Or maybe not. No, dead end. Ooh, 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 ooh. Warning, radiation. Okay. At least we killed a few raiders. <coughs> That's a good deal. Damn, it's a wonder that, that is still intact. That structure is holding. Hey, get up here. Gotta be kidding. Well, well, well. This is where the whole fun started. Something in here? No. And I guess one fell down. Would I be able to find you again? I guess yes. So we gotta go to that spot now. What's going on here? Just debris. This is a wolf. He's chasing a blood fly. Fine, have fun. So 
so I guess we have to get up here somehow. No wait, I wanted to look at the map. Okay. No. Jump. Could be this one. Yep, Walt 106. That's what I was looking for. What? A hitman? What is a hitman going to do here? He apparently doesn't like me. I wouldn't know why. Let's see, do we have anything to say? No, they started, started attacking. I wonder. Ah. Why? Why did I do? Weird. Contract for extermination. That's interesting. Um, data, notes, yeah, the schematics, hey, come on. Find Gottfried and show how we treat people that fail to live up to Mr. Tenpenny's expectations. Do not fail me. Do you know what will happen if you arouse my displeasure? Displeasure, B. Yeah, that, I, that's probably because we didn't blow up Megaton, but I never talked to that guy uh, that give me would have given me the quest. Weird. Oh well. So, but the good news is we have tail and combat armor, which is rather awesome. It has a better damage reduction, and we should probably uh, return to Megaton. Let's see. What time is it? Ah, uh, too too late actually. Hey there. Hey there yourself. So because I have that nice little combat armor here. And I think the combat armor is even better than the tail in combat armor twenty two. We'll repair that. It's 29. So finally, I guess we have some decent armor. And uh, that we totally then don't look like a totally douchebag again. Good evening, sir. What can I do? Certainly, sir. Here you are. And another joke. My humor emitter array requires recharging. Ooh. Okay, so I guess we could sleep now. It's half past eight. Twelve hours. Thank you. And out. How may I serve you, Master? Getting out of my way. 
I wish there were more people like you in the world. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. Okay, we get a new Coca-Cola. Certainly, thank you. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. Yeah, from now on people will start giving us presents. Because we're so nice. Great, right? Who the hell are you? You need something? Andy Stahl. Hmm? Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Um, I could use some directions around town. You know, you're right. I guess I do look like a signpost. Where do you want to go? Where's the closest clinic? We're standing on top of one right now. You'll want to see Doc Church next to the crater. Take your time. Is there a weapon stealer around here? Go see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Make some, too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Is there a bar in town? Are you joking? Yes, there's a bar. The Brass Lantern. It's easy to find, since you're standing in it. Not really. I'm out of the... You know, I'm in the open right now. Oh, no problem. I'm not busy at all. Yep, plenty of time to talk to strangers. Awesome. Know anything about the area outside Megaton? Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. And where would you go to? What can you tell me about Megaton? It's a hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. What's the word around town? Moriarty pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better off here. Hey, maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. <laughs> yeah, catch you later. All right, then. He doesn't seem to like the competition. Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. I just haven't found enough more rats yet. Wow, it repels them that much? <laughs> I can't wait for your full report. Well, well, well. What do you... You still have my money, right? Okay. And no bobby pins either. Apparently not. Chinese officer sword. That's not too bad. Sell the combat knife. And the flamer. And the fucking frag grenades. And the hockey mask. I could have repaired those. Ah, screw it. Oh, I'm not using the roving trader outfit. Ah. Skip it. And that's it. Yay, some money back. Thank you. Good hunting. Bye bye. See ya. Why don't you look where you're going? Why don't you shut the fuck up? What about you? You stuck? No, I wanted that, thank you. And not forget the sniper rifle. So I guess that's better than the combat knife. Turn to Vault 106. And in the next video, whoa.
Still dead? Is that your brain? In the next video we will actually enter it. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.